The following instructional video details the basic steps for entering math problems and computing answers in Maple. During the course of this video, dialog boxes will appear with comments to help guide the lesson. When Maple is launched, by default it opens in document mode. This is the Maple environment that supports rich, interactive, technical documents. The Quick Help dialog box appears at startup. It contains at-a-glance help and links to more detailed information. You can close it by clicking the X in the top right corner. To recall Quick Help at any time, press F1. Now let's begin using Maple. For quick problem solving, you can simply type in the math problem using the intuitive 2D math editor. Press enter and the answer is displayed on a separate line. Let's type a more complex expression. Maple understands implicit multiplication between a number and a variable, so you can enter 10 times x simply by typing 10 followed by x. To insert an exponent, press the caret symbol. This is usually inserted by pressing shift and the number 6 at the same time. To bring the cursor out of the exponent position, press the right arrow key. To enter fractions, just press the forward slash then 2x and press the right arrow key to return to the baseline. If you would like the answer to be displayed on the same line, hold down the control button and press the equal sign. The answer will then appear right beside the problem. Next is a demonstration of how to use Maple's palettes. Found on the left side of the Maple window, these palettes are used to quickly enter symbols and expressions. They can be expanded by clicking on the triangle next to the palette's name. The first function is the integral of x times sine of x, which you can enter using the expression palette. The expression palette contains templates for common mathematical operations. You can insert the integral template by clicking on the palette button or by dragging it into your document. You can replace the placeholders just by typing over them. This time, to avoid ambiguity, use the asterisk for multiplication. You could have also used implicit multiplication by putting a space between the terms. To move between placeholders, press tab. Right click on the expression to display a context sensitive menu, which gives a wide choice of appropriate mathematical operations. You can create a plot by choosing plots and 2D plot. Let's add a title to the plot. Select the plot, and then click on the Drawing Toolbar button. There is a wide selection of annotation tools here. Click on the text button, and you can easily add your title. 